What's up everybody, Carolyn Ray here. Excited to help you get some better sleep tonight um, or today if you work at nights. And this is gonna be a yoga flow for before bedtime or sleep time. So as you can see, we're starting on our belly today. So I'll give you a second to get down and get ready. Um, if you have a bolster or a pillow or block, always great to have some extra props. If you don't, no problem. <sighs> So just settling in, taking a breath in through the nose, just finding yourself all the way relaxed on the mat here. Really important part of sleep is breathing and calming our central nervous system. So we really want to tune into that and tap into our breath here. So just take a couple deep breaths in Make sure the exhales are not rushed as you breathe out. Feel the shoulders come forward on the mat a little bit more. Hmm. All right. On the base of your next inhale, you're gonna slowly start moving forward. You can bring your hands forward like you're gonna do um, a cobra or a sphinx pose. And then almost like you're climbing up a wall, we're gonna start bringing that knee up towards your shoulder. So it's kind of like a half frog pose. Now you can turn the elbows out and just relax. If you have a pillow you wanna rest on, you can do that. And then just feel the hip flexor open and let that right leg be heavy. So it's gonna to wanna to hold but try to relax that as much as you can. Just with every exhale, softening a little bit more. And take one more breath here. We're gonna move through to a scorpion pose, bringing our left arm out to a T and letting that right foot come to the outside of the left knee. And you're gonna to start to really feel opening here in the hip as well as in the shoulder. Just breathing into that, you can support yourself with the right hand on the mat. Make sure the neck is supported. If you'd like a pillow, you're more than welcome to rest the head on a pillow or bolster. Make any adjustments you need to. And coming back over to the mat. Oh yeah. Shake the hips out a little bit. And get ready for a climber on the other side, bringing the knee up. I like to sort of be in an action pose for this because it's a little more fun, but whatever floats your boat. And you can also just rest your head on the mat. So the legs want to engage here, just keep them soft. Let the leg be heavy. I'm just feeling the heartbeat on the earth here as you breathe in and out. And gently starting to move towards your scorpion on the left side or taco pose, letting the left hand support you here. Breathing into the shoulder, breathing into the hip. 
Maybe the foot's on a block behind you if you need a little extra room. That's a nice prop idea. Otherwise, you can just sort of let it levitate off the floor. And coming back over, nice and slow. Shaking the hips out, noticing a difference. And slowly making your way up, finding tabletop. Whew. Acknowledging that stretch and just giving yourself a little organic movement here, side to side in the hips. Or maybe finding some opposition some different angles here to work with. Whatever feels good. <sighs> and then tucking the toes, spread the fingers wide and slowly come up to your downward dog like you're in slow motion. Really working on keeping the spine long first and then maybe adjusting the down dog. Really wanting the feet to be about hips with distance. Some people like to put their feet all the way together, but you really want to keep them a little more square under the hips. And taking little steps up to the top of the mat. Let your exhales guide your sun salutations here as you inhale, lengthen the spine. Keep the gaze down. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raising all the way up, really pushing down in the feet. And exhale, forward fold. Plant the palms in, and then just gently come back, finding a wide-legged or a regular child's pose. If there's any low back issues, maybe the legs and the knees stay together here. Maybe gently moving the forehead back and forth on the mat. Getting in sync with that intuition for the night. And as you breathe in, slowly moving the gaze forward, imagining a marble right in front of your nose. And then slowly pushing yourself through. Finding your baby cobra. Elbows are back, heart is shining forward. And exhale, release all the way down to the mat. Shake the hips out again. <sighs> Coming into that cycle again, finding tabletop. Slow motion, downward facing dog. Maybe picking it up a little bit this time. Forward fold. Here we go, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. Mountain pose, arms come all the way. Forward, fold down. And stepping back, finding that child's pose. Gaze comes forward. Pretend marble, rolling all the way up. And finding baby cobra, lifting the heart. And exhale down. Go ahead and tuck the toes and you can come up through a plank or tabletop. Finding downward facing dog. Maybe pedaling out the feet a little bit more now. Just finding any movement that feels good. And taking a couple steps to the top of the mat this time. Relax the head a little bit more. And come all the way up, rooting to rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. So just tuning in, dropping into this groundedness, really settling down for the night here. So feel the breath, maybe one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Allowing the left leg to come back. Just finding a nice warrior one or Virabhadrasana one pose here. 
I really like to open up my arms and shoulders before bed because I'm a side sleeper. So option to bring the palms together behind the neck. And as you inhale, lengthening both legs. As you exhale, softly bending back into the right. One more like that, breathing in. And exhale, coming forward. Arms can come back up. And gently opening, warrior two. The base of your next inhale. Lengthen the right leg. Setting up for triangle pose. Again, wanting to give the hips a little bit of nourishment before we crunch in for bed for the night. So slowly shifting forward. And if you have a block, you're welcome to grab a block or maybe the shin. Also can find fingertips on the floor. Gaze can come to the left thumb. Connecting the thumb to the moon, finding that full alignment. And as you are ready, moving back through, framing the foot with the hands here. You can find a flow if you'd like. Maybe just jam it back to a child's pose. Yogi's choice for the night. And inhale, tabletop. Exhale, side out. Tuck the toes behind. Downward facing dog. And lift the right leg behind you. Maybe opening up the hip here. Making any circles with the ankle that feel good. We want to stay grounded here. So making sure that our shoulders don't open too much like our scorpion. We want to keep them parallel to the mat. And breathe it all the way through. Opening up all the way. Finding star pose here, preparing for a wide-legged forward fold. Can bring the hands to the hips for a little bit more support here. And then with the spine nice and long, slowly start tipping forward. I like to keep my hands on my hips because it kind of helps guide this moment or this movement a little bit easier. All the way down. <sighs> Maybe using the hands for support here. If you want to rest the head down, finding a pillow or a block. And then softening the knees, slowly coming up, rolling the shoulders back a few times, reaching the hands back, open star pose. And then cartwheel the arms all the way around down left side. So we'll find a little flow here. If that is what you would like, yogi's choice, of course. You can flow with me or you can child's pose. Meeting in downward facing dog. And letting the left leg come up and opening. Maybe doing some circles there with the ankle like we did on the other side. <sighs> Letting the shoulders stay very even and parallel here. Softening that right knee a little bit if you need to. Inhale, come forward. Knee comes towards the nose between the hands. Centering for Virabhadrasana one or warrior one left side. Again, bringing the hands together to the back is an option, or you're welcome to keep them straight. And as you inhale, straightening the leg. <sighs> Exhale forward. Sort of just letting everything circulate here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend the knee. Good, and coming back to Warrior one, shoulder blades together, 
putting a little bit more weight on that pinky toe edge of the back foot for support and then opening up warrior two. You can turn that back foot out a little bit more. Breathing in and out. Beautiful yogis, finding that moment of stillness. And then straightening the leg, finding triangle pose. Left side, being gentle here, coming forward and down. I like to look up at my right thumb or hand. You can also keep your neck down if that feels a little less stressful. Maybe opening the heart a little further. And coming down, framing that foot and finding a plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale, lower. Child's pose coming all the way back. And the pillows and bolsters are nice props because you can really make it comfy when you're at home and come all the way forward, resting the head down. Starting to really connect with the heart here. Settling the breath down. And lengthening the arms, starting to engage and lift the forearms and slowly coming up, maybe walking the hands nice and gentle towards you. We can move that out of the way for now and coming back into a downward facing dog, taking our time here. High up on the toes, maybe finding any organic movement if the feet feel a little crampy from the day. Inhaling the right leg behind you once again. Exhale, coming forward, finding pigeon pose, like bringing our right knee to the right top corner of the mat. Letting this left ankle be where it needs to be at. Some say super wide seven. I like to have it a little bit closer to the body. So yogi's choice, make sure that left leg's right behind you and lift up tall, proud pigeon. Feel alignment from heart all the way down to the root and slowly settle down. So this is a chance to surrender with every exhale. Can you soften a muscle a little bit more? Can you soften your thoughts a little more? Taking one more inhale, breathing right into the hip space. Exhale, sink deeper. Maybe bringing the head all the way down to the mat. Just really allowing yourself to be heavy here. And on the base of your next inhale, slowly start to move up. Really take your time here. Be gentle. This is definitely a big hip opener pose. And slowly and surely ground down in the palms. Coming up. Whatever feels good. Maybe just bringing that leg behind you. Finding any organic movement or circles here. And then finding our left leg extended to the sky. And exhale forward, pigeon pose left side. Again, finding that same alignment. It's like our shoelaces are strapped into the ground here. 
nice and tall lift, proud pigeon. And notice that these sides are probably going to feel different and that's okay. Slowly coming down to the elbows, or if you have a yoga block, you're welcome to come down to your block. So with every exhale, maybe coming closer to the earth, there's no pressure to go down all the way for your first couple breaths. So take your time, breathing in, exhale. Take a big breath, let the heart rise and sink all the way down. Make any adjustments that you need here and then really just try to settle in. With every exhale, letting go all the energy it's not serving you. Couple more breaths of intention here. Y'all are almost there, breathing in. Exhale. Last breath, let the heart rise. Exhale, let it fall. And then slowly as you start to inhale, Bring awareness back into the hands, back into the body, slowly coming up from this pose. Take a moment here, just tall. Reactivating in the spine. And we wanna tuck the toes behind us and really be aware of this move. We don't wanna hurt ourselves and get that blood flow back in. Any organic movements here that feel good. And then one more downward dog. Taking a nice deep breath in through the nose. Side out the mouth. Gently let both your knees lower to the earth and find your way to an easy seat in the front of the room. Hands come wide outside of the hips as you inhale up. Getting all the good dreams and good intentions for the night and exhaling in. Feeling all the opening and release, breathing up. And exhaling. And I hope that you are able to get some really valuable deep REM sleep after this and um, are able to just sleep really well. Um, let me know in the comments if y'all are feeling sleepier or how, uh, how you're feeling in this moment, but I am so honored to guide you through a better sleeping practice and your yoga practice today. With all the light and love that lives and dances inside me, I see all the light and love inside of you. Thank you, yogis. Namaste. <sighs> Again, Carolyn Ray here. Super excited to have been with you today. And stay tuned. Yoga TX. We'll see you next time. Thank you.